I always wish that I had a family that I could just go home to. Like even now, I always wish it. Leaving home, going to uni, for many, a big adventure. But what if you don't live with your mum or dad? What if you've grown up in a foster home or care home? There's then thoughts of what happened in the past and maybe just think to yourself, am I good enough to do this? Not many young people who've been in care go to uni. They've experienced trauma as children, that's why they're taken into care, and that can, in some cases, affect their learning. I grew up in care, and what I want to know is why so few people like me go to university. My name's Tolu and I'm a care leaver. My biggest concern about starting university is how I'm going to cope financially. Hello Hi, Tolu, nice Ashley. to meet you. Nice to meet you too, come on in. Tolu's 19 and went into foster care at the age of five. Despite her tough start, she has high hopes for her future. Tell me about your mood board. Okay, so family. Is that picture yeah. of the family? Yeah, that's just from online. You just, a random group of people? Yeah. I don't know, it just looks like a nice family. I don't really have a family picture. Having moved between 11 homes, she spent the final year of her A-levels in a hostel. Now she's living in a council flat in London and won't get her student finance until she enrolls at university. Until then, she can't even afford the basics. So I need to get, like, I need suitcases because I only have one. And I also need, like, a laptop, like, um, books and stuff, bedding cutlery and all those kind of things. Well, it's quite tough because like I've seen all my friends like prepare for uni and how like their parents will like drop them off and all that lo lovely farewell and stuff and I'm not going to get that but I've kind of just adapted. Do you have any worries about uni? I'm scared that I'm going to be so lonely there because I hear a lot of people say like they're lonely and they don't really have that many friends because you don't know who to trust and stuff. I always wish that I had a family that I could just go home to. Like even now I always wish it like I hate having to come home and the house is empty or I have to cook all the time. I force myself to always be like really strong, but then I realise that it's kind of just making me like weaker and weaker because like, even though I'm an adult, I've been independent for such a long time and I feel a lot older than I already am. Ten years ago, I left care and started university. And I can remember as if it was yesterday, the emotional and financial challenges of starting uni as a care leaver. From meeting Tolu, it's clear that not much has changed. The charity Becomes supports care leavers in higher education. So this was actually designed by young people we mm. work with and they had this idea, what would the care system be like if it was really caring? Why do so few care leavers go to university? They've experienced trauma as children, that's why they're taken into care. And that can, in some cases, affect their learning. Um, and then they often tend to get moved around the care system from foster care to foster care or into children's homes. The care system doesn't really provide the stability that young people need to be able to learn and thrive. I'm Amy and I'm a care leader and I'm just about to go to university. I'm super excited and also a bit nervous Karen Hello. Ashley. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hello, Amy. Unlike Tolu, 19 year old Amy has been staying put with her foster mum, Karen, in York. <laughs> Off to study at Liverpool University, she'll stay in halls for the terms and come back to Karen for the breaks. Karen, how are you feeling? <clears throat> um, nervous. Yeah. I don't want her to leave me. Yeah. He'll just have. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You okay? It's just, I know she got to go into independence, but it's um, the fact that she's leaving. It's going to be so hard. It is just massive. It's a massive part of my life, but I know that I've always wanted to go to uni. Before I even met you, I knew I yeah. wanted to go. But without your support, I don't think I would have gone. It's amazing to know that I am loved more than... I've got that somebody that loves me unconditionally. And that's the most important thing in the world. <laughs> it's clear that for Amy, having a supportive foster mum makes a world of difference. Like I say, it's, I'm just super proud of her. It's still rare for care leavers to stay put with their foster families. 
I went to see the children's minister to ask about Tolu and others in her situation. I'm at a care leaver in London. She can't even afford a suitcase, yet alone books or a laptop to prepare for uni. Is that good enough? Absolutely not good enough. And actually, there is no reason. You know, the local authority can actually deliver that financial support. My message to them is support these kids. The more we can get them into university, into college, into apprenticeships, the better society it will be. These kids are our kids. We are the corporate parent, which is, I hate that technical title, but we are the parent, right? The baton of parenting has been handed to us. We've got to do better for them. Care leavers go into uni get local authority grants, but when they receive them, varies between councils. What more should universities be doing? So I think I want universities, since they're going to spend 860 million on widening participation, what better group of kids to widen participation, get them to university, than care leavers? So I want them all to you know, not just talk the talk, walk the walk with them. Amy's a few days into her first week at university. So, how's it going? I've loved every second of it. I feel like it's the honeymoon period. What's clear to see though is that because you're supported back home, mm. you have the opportunity to be a student and nothing else. Yeah, and there's nothing different about me. There's not a big arrow on my head saying, look, look who, who you are. And yeah, it's, it's amazing really. I feel like I'm part of the uni now. And Tolu started at Queen Mary University of London. She's still worried about money and has other concerns too. For some reason, I just feel like I'm not going to be as smart as everyone else. Sometimes I just feel like I'm not good enough or whatever I do isn't going to be good enough, even if I try my best. Do you think it has anything to do with being a Kelly? Probably. I always feel like that probably because I set the bar quite high for myself and I tend to not meet my expectations. Have you got a suitcase? Well, I'll just use bin bags and move that. Are you kidding me? While Tolu may lack some support, the one thing she has beyond doubt is resilience. If you really have this passion and desire to go to university, go, like, don't let your circumstances or anyone tell you otherwise, because right now we're adults and we have to do things for ourselves. And if that's a decision you want to make, then 100% go for it. Yeah, that sounds really good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>